As many of you will already be aware, there have been a ton of issues recently with various hacking situations on Roblox. You will not be a stranger to this situation if you've been watching my channel or any other Roblox YouTuber's channel because everyone has been talking about it. Various different devs and games have been hacked and to be honest, it has been an absolute nightmare. There have been so many people's accounts who have had their Roblox stolen, their limited items stolen and worse. And lots of people have only just started recovering their accounts and now Roblox is trying to get everybody to be more secure with their accounts use two-factor authentication and take better control and better care of all of their accounts. Well you guys there's been lots of conversation in the Royal High community recently about potential data loss since obviously some of the servers had to be reverted after the whole hacking situation and some people are concerned about how they could lose their items or lose future progress if something like that happened again. Today I'm going to explain that to you guys and also talk through to you how you can keep yourself safe and also avoid worrying about these data loss issues. Hey little beans I made my and TikTok account. I've been posting real life videos, even crazy dance videos in Roblox and also lots of Royal High videos every single day. Be sure to go and follow me. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on my channel as always. I hope you are excited for today's video and thank you so much for watching all of the videos on my channel today. I really do appreciate it. You guys are all awesome and I always appreciate all of your love and support so I'm so grateful for all of you still watching my videos every day even when there's not much to talk about right now in Royal High because obviously there's not many updates right now. I'm sure there will be plenty to talk about very soon but for the time being we are obviously just bobbing along and kind of creating what we can until all of the other content starts up again but just in case you guys are hungry for some other content while you're waiting for Royal High Tea I do have two other channels an Adopt Me channel and a Roleplay channel which are starting back up again from tomorrow so make sure you go and subscribe to them if you haven't already. Hey everyone I'm Dolly and welcome back to another video if you guys are excited about today's video make sure you leave a comment down below. We're going to do our best to reply to as many as possible and leave some hearts on them and we always appreciate getting to read all of your comments so thank you so much for taking the time to comment on our videos. Absolutely, you guys. So lots of you have been talking about the issues with potential data loss that have been coming up recently in conversation on Royal High. The main issue for this, or the main reason why people have been talking about this, is mainly because obviously in Royal High recently, in previous issues when we've had previous hacking problems or things like that come up in the past, there have obviously been a lot of issues where data loss did happen and people lost their progress. Naturally, this means that people are worried if that could happen again, and obviously you really want to avoid that happening again. So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Royal High devs and what they're doing to make sure this doesn't happen. Basically, Lance and Barbie have said multiple times that there are multiple backups for the game. If you didn't know, Roblox already make their own backups for every single game in Royal High, but also Lance said that they make their own as well themselves as devs for the game as well. So in other words, the backups are being made constantly, so when you're making progress in the game, there's always backups being consistently made for your progress, for your items, and for the things that you have in the game. So in other words, throughout the time that your backups are being made, your items and progress are being stored, so that if something does happen, it can always revert back to one of those backups. So data loss in the way that it happened before is very, very unlikely to happen now, because obviously in the past, people would lose maybe a day's worth of progress because they had to revert back to a backup from the day before. But now the backups are so often, I believe Lan said probably around every 15 minutes, that the fact that, that the data that they have saved is impossible for it to be that old. In other words, if something did happen, you would maybe lose around 15 minutes of progress, which the things that you could possibly achieve in 15 minutes are so limited anyway. The only real thing you could potentially lose that would be actually bad would be, I guess, winning a Halo from the fountain. If you won the Halo from the fountain and then the servers had to be reverted back 15 15 minutes obviously you would lose that halo but I'm assuming you'd be able to contact the devs and as long as you have some kind of proof of you winning that halo you would probably be able to be given it anyway especially if they're aware of a data loss issue I would say to you guys that if you ever do win a halo in the fountain either record it or take a screenshot of it when you win so that you can obviously provide that as proof but one thing to always remember you guys is every single time there's an issue with something like this in Royal High or in Roblox in general every single youtuber will jump to make a video talking about how you might lose Lose your items mainly to frighten you because obviously they want you to watch the videos and support those videos and keep watching all these videos about data loss but the reality is the data loss isn't anywhere near as bad as what people say it is and 
it's unlikely to ever be bad again. It's very unlikely that somehow the servers would go down and all of the backups that both Roblox and Lance and Barbie make could all be lost and all of your items be lost in that process. It's very unlikely that they'd be able to obviously lose that level of secure data all at the same time and then lose all of your save files. So the reality is even if there is some kind of data loss that the servers suffer again in the future, it would probably be about 15 to 10 minutes of data that you would maybe lose. So the reality is the progress that you lose could be so minimal that it probably wouldn't actually be that big of a deal. For example, you could buy something in the game and then the data loss happen, but you would have the diamonds back that you used to buy it so you could just then go ahead and buy it again. Your items are not just going to vanish from your inventory and also when people tell you during certain processes, like so for example if the game is updating or if there seems to be a data loss issue and they tell you not to join the game, they're mostly just doing that to make you afraid. Joining the game isn't going to make a difference. Your save data isn't saved on your game. It is saved by the servers, it is saved by Roblox, it is saved by Lance and Barbie. There's nothing that you can do by not joining that's going to make a difference. So during all of this progress just during all of this process of dealing with the hackers and things like that that Roblox obviously the moderation team are trying to take control over the situation they are recommending that you all turn on two-factor authentication for your account you can do that in your settings and basically what it means is when you try to log into Roblox it will send a code to your email so you need your email password and the code from your email as well to log in and they are also making it available to have two-factor authentication on your phone soon so that you'll have to have a phone with you in order to log in as well you should also obviously not be sharing your passwords and if you know somebody else has your Roblox password you should definitely go ahead and change it you guys so that they can't access your account and maybe even change your email if you know that somebody else knows the email that you use for your account you should be using a secure email a secure password and two-factor authentication on every single thing that you have whether that's social media Roblox whatever it might be to keep yourself safe and in reality if you get hacked by giving your password away to someone or if you get scammed because you cross trade or trust trade or anything like that in reality it's mostly your own fault for taking that risk so to be honest you guys the devs probably won't be able to do anything to help you anyway so definitely consider your actions when you're doing obviously what you're doing in the game if it is giving your password to someone because they've told you they're going to give you loads of diamonds by playing the game for you you should probably be able to notice that that is likely a scam and you are likely going to lose your items or your account in that process please be more vigilant you guys please pay more attention and definitely don't like click on links from tradery this seems to be a big problem right now in the community lots of you guys clicking on strange links you've never seen before on tradery which seems to be causing a lot of people to get scammed i cannot express enough how much you need to be careful when you're clicking links especially from people you don't know anyways you guys that is a massive thread on Kalin's twitter if you'd like to go over there and have a look and it shows you all of the information you need to know about securing your account and i hope that you will all go through it read through all of that information Information and utilize it to have a better and safer experience when playing Royal High. Also, I wanted to say to you guys that I am currently working on having a better daily schedule, as in in my real life. I am working on improving my sleeping schedule and stuff so that I can wake up a bit earlier and start recording longer videos again. And also, because my role plays and things are going to be coming back, I literally hear Logan standing up, so he's going to come and say something, I guarantee. Hi. There's Logan. Basically, we're both working on improving our sleeping schedules right now so that we can have a good daily schedule of waking up every day and then doing the recordings before he streams and then I'll be able to have longer recordings and he's also joining my roleplay videos on my roleplay channel and also the Adopt Me videos will come back as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. It will be a lot easier when living in our own like apartment or house because obviously we'll have our own offices and then I won't have to record around him and he won't have to stream around me and things like that. But for the time being, we're figuring it out and you guys will hopefully have better content again very soon because I realized that the last few days the videos have been a lot shorter and stuff but I'm just working on it so thank you for bearing with me and still watching the content I do appreciate it and I will see you properly in longer videos again very soon I want to do some challenges and I might ask him if he would like to join me for some of them kind of like that ugly outfit one we did because you guys seem to really really like that and it did really really well so maybe we need to do more things like that Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'm going to aim for 250 likes as always. And of course, we are almost at 90,000 subscribers. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.